Hi, I'm Sylvan Chubb from Picos, and I'm walking you through how you can mitigate lock for shell in four steps. But first, let's recap why lock for shell has kept us busy over the past few days. Now, Lock4J is a Java logging library that is very widely used. In fact, it has been downloaded over 28 million times in just the past four months. Now, about a week ago, a very critical remote code execution vulnerability was disclosed. In addition to that, a second vulnerability that allows an attacker to do a denial of service attack was found um, once the first patch got released. Now, the reason why lock for shell is dubbed as one of the most critical vulnerabilities in the past few years is because on the one hand, it is so widely used, but on the other hand, it's really trivial to exploit, but very hard to patch. Scary thing is, is also that according to Mandian and other resources, there is also already nation state actors that are um, exploiting this vulnerability in the wild. Now, let's get to the most important thing. How can you mitigate um, Log4J vulnerability in your environment? Obviously, the best thing would be to patch all the affected systems. But there is a challenge. You know, like finding all the assets that are affected is very hard. You cannot just do an external scan of your environment using um, tools or services out there, because most often, they rely on, on things like Apache version, et cetera, and they cannot really find all the systems that have Log4J uh, embedded. And that's the second thing. A lot of systems or a lot of third-party systems relay on Log4J and you have to, or you are dependent on the third-party vendors to do um, their job and provide you a patch to their um, systems. The second option would be to disabling the JNDI functionality, which is at the root of, of this vulnerability. Now, this is exactly what the, the latest patch version does, version 2.16. But the challenge here again is, if you want to disable manually, you still know what systems are affected. This is why at Picos, we believe the only way to really limit the impact to your business right now is to ensure that your existing security controls are configured to prevent the log for shell exploit. Obviously, as discussed before, you may not be aware of all the, the systems that, that leverage log4j, but hopefully your critical assets are behind web application firewalls or are protected by, by other security controls. And due to the nature of the vulnerability or the exploit, it's really important that you ensure that your WAFs or your um, intrusion prevention systems, that they block Log4J related requests. In addition, because there is a, a outbound request, a lookup functionality, um, you also have the option to prevent those outbound connections uh, on your firewalls or in your secure web gateways. But as always, let's not just only trust our assumptions, but really make sure and validate that they hold true. So I wanna show you how Apicus, how our platform can help you to validate your existing security controls. Now in our platform, we search our threat library for all related um, attacks that, that are um, related to Log4J. And as you can see, our team has included already 29 variants um, that uh, how the exploit can be triggered. Now we simulate this in a few seconds uh, on a, a specific environment here. Um, and as you can see, the result is that it's not blocked. Now the Picos platform also provides you um, help in mitigating this. So depending on the tools you use, you get um, signatures or, or prevention rules that can help you to block um, all these related requests. And obviously you can run these assessments continuously to really identify if your controls are up to date and, um, and are um, also able to prevent the latest and greatest ways this can be um, exploited. Are you already validating security controls today? If not, 
we really encourage you to do so and we want to support you. So please reach out to us. And if you do so, by the end of um, January 2022, we'll also get you a specific um, discount for this because we really want to help you in fighting Log4j. So visit us on picosecurity.com slash Log4j. Thank you for listening.